Hey, Titus, how you doing? Hey Dammy, how you doing? Shit stream today. It's harvest season here, so in addition to hateful humidity and mysterious PC issues, my allergies are so bad I'm half tempted to skin myself. Oh, Tidders, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I used to live not far from a farm that specialised in the one kind of plant that I'm really severely allergic to. Uh, hey Rocket, how you doing? So, uh, I know your pain there. I'm glad to hear you're making progress on the gun repair, though. <clears throat> and, yeah, I'm really sorry to hear the stream didn't go so good. I, uh, have been head down in paperwork all day, so I'm afraid I couldn't watch in the background or anything. <sighs> Did somebody say heads down, thumbs up? Fucking hell, D-Mac. That's a flashback I didn't need. How you doing, mate? Oh, nice one, Rocket. Well done. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me. I finished work a bit late. I haven't finished the stuff I was supposed to finish today. And um a wee bit frazzled. I didn't have a lunch break. Um... I uh, spent most of the day feeling really stressed. Uh, so I'm a little bit shaky. I'm a little bit um, under the weather. Um, we're just going to be working on the Tree Lord uh, build tonight because uh, I don't really feel up to painting in spite of the fact that the weather's good enough that I should be able to paint. I've I've had I have had something to eat to a poor, but I didn't take a break while I did it. I just ate whilst I was uh, working. So I, I've I've have eaten. Don't worry. Um, thank you for the hugs, Rocket. But yeah, I I have eaten. I will eat again after the stream. I just uh, yeah, I've, I've not really stopped yet. Who doesn't love a working lunch? I know, right? Oh. The 80s finest tonight, I hear. Yes, this, Tidders, is some good quality new wave. And this is the shit I listen to on a regular basis. Hey, psychologist, how you doing? Anything you like, psychologist, as long as it's not like... um. What's the word? As long as it's not like um, shit posty, meme -y stuff. Uh, well, not anymore, it isn't, it is. How you doing, Brad? I don't know if I asked. No shite got you. Yeah, exactly, psychologist. Right, let's uh, let's get this underway, shall we? <clears throat> hey, RNG, how you doing? Okay, so oh, uh, for the folks that were here last week that watched the tongue of one of my fun Molog squigs spang off into the distance, I found it. It was caught in my leggings. <laughs> um, so the second I stood up after the stream, just fell onto the floor and I was like, oh, look, there it is. And I've assembled it. 
Um, before we get back onto the tree lord, actually, I'm gonna put the mushrooms in the base. A little bummed about my job applications getting dismissed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Brad. I remember when I was job hunting, uh, when I finished uni, I got so many fucking rejections to begin with, and it is super disheartening, but it's not a reflection on you, it's a reflection on the company, and if they're going to be knobs about it, then you didn't want to work from anyway. Well, this is just deeply unsettling as a mashup. Well. Fucking love Gravity Falls. Such a great show. Oh, um. As much as I haven't fucked with my mic settings at all, it looks like my mic is peaking. So if it's too loud, please do let me know. And I will fuck about with it. Um. And. I would apologise for the fan sounds in the background, but um, it's fucking humid. <laughs> so, uh, unless you want me to melt to death, uh, <laughs> you'll have to cope. Hey, Kian, how you doing? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm glad it sounds okay. Job application rejected, I'm pretty numb to that at this point. Yeah, well, when it first starts happening, it's it's bleak. Um, it doesn't feel good, but you do learn to just go, you know what, it's their fucking loss. Cool. Glad to hear it. Right got me instructions. Oh, uh, please excuse the uh, various uh, stab wounds on my hands. I've been sewing. Grunkle Brightside, yes! Grunkle Stan is such a fucking mood in Gravity Falls. Like, there's an episode where he wakes up in the morning and he's like, yay, I'm not dead, but my back's fused. And I have had mornings like that. What was the other thing he said that I really liked? Finally, an excuse to punch a teenager. <laughs> She's like, damn it, Stan. Stop being so relatable. Hello there, Rathmore. Welcome to the stream. And Mr. Mouse as well. How are you both doing? Too real, too real. I know, right? Thank you very much for the follow, Rathmore. Much appreciated. Is this because I'm quoting Grunkle Stan? Growing up is just the process of relating more and more to Grunkle Stan and Squidward. Oh my god, Bred, you are so right there. I've never seen Gravity Falls, but now I love Grunkle. Gravity Falls is one of my favourite TV shows. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's probably my favourite TV show that's come out um, in the last sort of decade. Um, it's wonderfully written, it's so so funny, um, if you like spooky shit, like we all know I do, um, it's well worth a watch. There's some cryptozoology in there, there's some conspiracy theory stuff, there's a really hefty dose of sci-fi. It's wonderful. And they give you a a sort of hint at what the um, next episode is going to be about as a caesarean shift cipher at the end of every episode. Um, I'm calm. Totally calm. Gnomes. The fucking gnomes. Queen. Queen. Uh, hey, Model, How are you doing? Um, we're talking about Gravity Falls. Well, I'm rambling about Gravity Falls and folks are suffering through it. Very entertaining as a kid, considerably more so now that I'm old enough that none of the jokes go over my head. Because same goes for regular show, if you all know that. Yeah, regular show is actually very, very good. Um, the creators did... Um, creators? Creator? Did another show called Close Enough, which is very, very good. Um, new she is great. Love it. 
cool good luck titters i hope it goes well right anyway i should start building something shouldn't i instead of just talking about um tv shows that i really like <laughs> uh so what did we do last week we got this piece which is Okay, yep, yep, I know where we are now. I know where we are now, I think. Yep, okay, cool. So we were up to prepping these. There we go. I've remembered. TV show tier list when? Um, I'll do that sometime. Um, like, are, are we talking like as a... Um, as a stream or can I just put it on Twitter really enjoy chilling to Steven Universe I fucking love Steven Universe love it so much Our House also very damn good love it hey Lynn thank you very much for the bits my friend I'm not going to be able to go to the US oh Lynn I'm so sorry to hear that but I'm glad that your Patreon's doing well That's fab. Well, if you go to Nottingham, I hope you have a really good time. And if you can go to Nottingham, then that means I'll be able to go as well. Um, at some point. Uh, not for a bit, though. Probably not until next year now, because uh, i got to save some money. Full stream tier list. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Like, I've never done anything like that on stream before. I've never actually done a fucking tier list before, so it'd be kind of weird. But I'll have a go. Oh, uh, by the way, DMAC, thank you very much for the recommendation for Ozark. Really enjoying it. Uh, I've only watched two episodes so far. I watch one episode in the morning uh, before work whilst I'm drinking my coffee when I wake up on time. Hey Grox, how you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, tier list titters, uh, ranking, um, ranking whatever in a, a tiered format. Ozark is a masterpiece. I am really enjoying it. I prefer it to Breaking Bad, I've got to admit. I mean, Breaking Bad's good, but... I don't know. Ozark just hits better for me. Sneaky Pete is also very good. I've been meaning to watch that. For me, there are great shows that got ruined as time went on. Sherlock. Sherlock is a prime example of why you shouldn't let fans create things. Um, like, everything that Stephen Moffat touches starts out really cool and you're like, yeah, this is pretty fun. And then it just steadily gets more and more up its own ass until it creates a singularity of fart sniffing. Uh, and that's really upsetting for me. Yes, Rocket. Um, I stopped watching it before that point, uh, thankfully. But... Um yes the the it got to a got to a point where it was using tropes that nobody really wants to see in a show that's supposed to be um good representation or gets moffeted yes it does kian um yes dammy lucifer lucifer is a lot of fun i've kind of lost interest in it re more recently um I feel like maybe it could have just ended and it hasn't yet but that happens with a lot of those kind of um yes exactly mr mouse everything today didn't go nice. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mudhell. Ted 
10 weeks after my information request to the tax office that should have been answered six weeks max finally arrived bloody hell mod hell did they at least provide all the information you were asking for oh porthos sweetie i know you want all of the attention i've barely given you any attention today because i've been so busy and i'm sorry i did take you out in the garden and play with you until it rained though oh final season comes out in september and i'm very very excited but fair enough bread uh the last like season and a half just meh for me but that's me <laughs> i stopped when it started to rain because he hates the rain mr mouse and he wanted to come back inside thank you for the treat for porthos rng i'm gonna throw it out into the hallway so you can get a bit of exercise Do not give tax advice. You can submit information request, however, in certain situations. Wow! That's bullshit, Mod Hale. Completely unacceptable. I don't think season two of Love, Death and Robots is as good as season one was. I feel like season one was kind of lightning in a bottle. I mean, season two is still good. I just... It didn't hold me the way season one did. Um, I have been meaning to watch Lovecraft Country, but for some reason, every time I go to start watching it, I uh, don't. It's really weird. Don't know why. Good Omen season two and Sandman are what I'm excited for. Yes, Lynn, me too. I love Good Omens. First season was so good. And Sandman, very excited for that. I had some of the Sandman comics when I was uh, younger. Uh, <laughs> I read them while I was babysitting. That's right. Someone left me in charge of children. <laughs> Lock and Key 2 is soon. Oh, really? Good, it got a second season. I'm so glad. Because, again, Lock and Key is a comic that I absolutely loved when I was younger. So, looking forward to... Um, seeing season two of that um yes sandman is also a bad guy in uh spider-man but sandman is um a neil gaiman property porthos sweetheart just call your jets for you matey See, I cut these out last week and do not remember which bit is which, so I'm just puzzling it over. There we go, it goes like that. Do we have... yeah, we do. Uh, well, we can use this. Should be fine. Yeah, the, there may not be much building in this stream because I'm just so fucking frazzled right now that the chatting about TV shows is kind of fun. Um, oh, Jesus. That's terrible, DMAC. The boys, perfect showing of how to deal with neo-Nazis. Yes, it fucking is. I love the boys as well. It's not for the faint of heart. Not a name I'm familiar with, I'm afraid. Um, I'm trying to... Um, like, you know when you know all of the things that um, a person's done and then the second you want to actually explain it to somebody else, you can't remember any of them. You need Coraline? I've got the book on my shelf, that's how I remembered that one. Um, what else has he done? Good Omens, obviously. American Gods. Um, please, no spoilers for season two. I, I've not even started season two of The Boys yet, Brad. Don't worry. Because um, Slow wanted to watch season one with me and I watched it without him. So, Stardust, yeah, never were. 
Gaming gets around. Oh jeez. Discovered a company called Gun Primer. They seem to make super premium finishing tools for Gundam stuff. Oh. Um, can you drop me a link to that over Discord please, Lynn? Because you have my attention. <laughs> and thank you again for the bits there, my friend. Okay, I think that should fit together nicely now. I think. A little bit of a seam. Yeah, be okay. Porthos, this is super glue, it's not food, sweetheart. Well, it's plastic glue. Happy. I loved Happy Mod Hell. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, Neil Gaiman is an author, Titters, so as much as a lot of his stuff has been made into movies and TV shows, it's all books and comics. Thank you, Lynn. Happy just didn't click with me. Yeah, fair enough. I watched it at a particular point in my life, I guess. Oh jeez, really DMAC? Dang. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna... Product's tempered glass file and buffer set that is apparently really good at shaving down and polishing up nub smarts. Oh, wicked. I mean, uh, I've got a glass nail file, which I've contemplated using on my plastic minis before. I've got to admit. Um, but it is the best nail file I've ever had. So it doesn't surprise me that a tempered glass file would... Uh, be good for minis. Uh, where is my sandpaper? There you go. Peter Cullen turned 80 today. Damn! Happy birthday, Peter Cullen! Porthos is in such a mood today because I've been so busy. Oh, really, DMAC? Nice. Hello, Porthos. Happy birthday, Optimus Prime, indeed. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Dammy. You ready? Go get it. Damn it, he caught that one. Happy <laughs> birthday, Autobot Scrap. Right. Uh, we have a torso. Um, pop that there. Okay, and now I need... 68C, apparently. 
see if we can find that. I think it's this piece. So Luke. Oh no, I was wrong. They're all A's. So I want the other sprue. Ah, it's this version. Because, uh, hang on, I'll show you the, the picture in a minute. Fang, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, you looked really well there. I'll leave you be. I hope you're enjoying The Hobbit, friend. Yeah, check that out. Looks like a thumb. Or like a really funny potato. Which I can kind of get. Yeah. really unfortunately formed nut. Maybe I should give this Lord of the Rings thing a go at some point. Hmm. It depends on what you're into, Dammy. Oh, geez. Oh, thank you very much, DMAC, for gifting a sub to Longfang. Much appreciated. <laughs> nice one, Modhell. Right. Oh dear. I went a bit close then, didn't I? Ah oh, well. <laughs> wow, harsh. still do the movement of the sub-anime. It's a, a good little animation, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you pair of fab. I wonder what the purpose of the sad potato is. Is it just a piece to fill in the space inside its chest? That seems bleak. Eh, fair enough, Dammy. Like I said, it depends on what you're into, doesn't it? Um... I grew up with my mum reading me um, fairy stories and things like The Hobbit as bedtime stories. So I've got a level of nostalgia attached to a lot of fantasy stuff, a lot of folk tales. Um, to be boiled, mashed, put in a stew, indeed. Uh God, the fucking memes. Ooh. Awesome, Lynn. I'll definitely have to check that out after the stream. Like I said, I can't really afford any big ticket items at the minute, but something to add to the list, innit? I don't even know if I need to worry about these mould lines. I mean, if I do, I've got that 
fucking honking great damage there that I've put in. So, uh... Oops. <clears throat> hey, not wrong with that rocket. One of the um, stories that I remember my mum reading to me a lot when I was a kid was the story of a boy who pulled the tails of cats. Um, it was a, your typical sort of cautionary tale. No pun intended. Um, okay. Like this, or like this. Hello, Porthos. I'm looking at my instructions, not at you, sweetheart. Come here. Do you want to come up? If I let you up, will you behave? Probably not. But let's do it anyway. Hang on a second, folks. Come on, then. Oh! Brace for impact there. Hey, buddy. Um, trying to get Porthos on camera from this angle is always a pain in the ass. There we go. Hey, baby. No, no lick in my hand. Um, yeah, so um, it's a story of a boy that pulls the tails of cats. Um, and uh, hey, minis and cats, how you doing? And one day the little shit pulls the tail of a witch's cat and the tail comes off and the cat grows a new tail and fucks off but then the tail that the kid has pulled gets stuck to his um to his butt and all the animals that he's been harassing over the years start pulling on this tail and it really hurts him because it's con it's fused itself to his spine and i fucking love that story because that little shit deserved it Just lick the mic stand. You stop it. Stop licking everything. No. Oh, oh. Jesus, your breath smells sweet up. Mine gave me a copy of The Hobbit when I was super young. A lot of the Rings movies were announced. Oh. That's absolutely fucking wonderful. I love stuff like that. Like, little bits of nostalgia and good memories from childhood just make me so happy. Oh yeah, fuck that shit, Mr. Mouse. Um, I have a funny related story, which I will tell you in a moment once I have figured out what I'm doing with this accursed potato and have given Porthos the treat from Buff. Thank you for the treat buff. Okay, so, a cursed potato and then story about my reading age. Please stop licking my arm. I had a shower yesterday. I don't need another one right now. I think it's supposed to be that, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be this way. Right, okay. A cursed potato dealt with. My parents. Um, taught me to read and to count way before I went to school like it was the first thing they did and I, I grew up watching Countdown with uh, my dad and Time Team and a few other things like that so I, I think it's safe to say I had a reasonably good TV based education as a child <laughs> um, but also, my parents read a lot of books with me. They got me to read a lot of books. I had a lot of conversations with adults, like proper conversations. Um, and then I went to preschool, I guess. Um, and I f within the first week, I'd basically forgotten everything. Like, I wouldn't read couldn't do me maps anymore just no um 
And my parents worked really, really hard to reinstill all of this stuff. And the school started giving me books to read. Um, but they were like super simple books. And they were insistent that I couldn't read anything more complicated, even though I was doing at home. Uh, so my parents were like, no, let her read what she wants. Um, and the school went, well, she's got to have a reading test then to prove that she can read the books that she wants to read. She's fucking stupid. Um, and they gave me the reading test whilst um, all the other kids were having a story read to them. <laughs> So I, I refused to read the book because I wanted to go and listen to the story that was being read with everybody else. Um, but when they finally did something sensible and, you know, arranged it at a suitable time when there wasn't a fun story being read for everybody else, um, I fucking blew them out of the water because... I could read far beyond my level when I was uh, younger. Probably can't now. Um, work does that to you. But um, I was reading shit like The Simpsons and Philosophy uh, when I was in primary school. Because <laughs> I was that weird kid. Um, but by that point they were letting me read whatever the fuck I liked, so I did. Um, but when I was in... like kindergarten little baby school they wouldn't let me read the books I wanted to read because they didn't believe I was capable of reading them until my parents proved them the fuck wrong very very lucky that I have a very supportive mother and I had a very supportive father they both did their best to make sure that I could have a, a good life I'd have flexed so hard. I know, right, Mr. Mouse? Yeah, they, they refused to move me up, Brad, but um, I think that was because they wanted to bump their averages up. <laughs> Cocky as that may sound. Uh, okay. So we want 67. Well, there's 62. Haven't we just had this one once? Though a slightly different version of it. I'm just going to... Because I'm sure we've had this once already. I'm just going to skip it. Sorry. Ah, right. No, no, we're still going through the stuff from last week. I think. Oh, jeez, that sucks, Brad. That really sucks. Okie dokie, Mac. Then the next one's one that was put in last week as well. Anyway. 67C. Let's see if you folks catch it before I do. That's B. Found it. There it is. Eesh. Um, okay, Porthos, you can hold my instructions. But yeah, in short, let kids read what they want within reason obviously um and um don't be shits about it building some angry trees yes we are duke how you doing mate 
Um, we are building the big angry tree. Um, and also, thank you very much for being subscribed for s nine months. My brain was like six, six, no, nine. Fucking hell. Thank you very much, friend. It is a uh, tree lord, uh, Longfang. Um, I don't own any Colonel Hunters currently. Uh, they're on the list, along with uh, many other things. As soon as I own some um, Karnoth Hunters, the first one will be Aethlandir. Um, because he's the entire reason I even own any Sylvaneth at this point. He's the entire reason that I even considered it. I say entire reason. Uh, Inquisitor Grox is the entire reason that I own Sylvaneth right now. Um, but I wanted them because of Aethlandir. So, yeah. And I will be making a little Tari to go on his shoulder. Or his head. Or, you know, wherever he sits. Sorry, flashbacks. <laughs> um. This was the second, I think, album I bought with my own money. <laughs> well, I say my own money. It was it was the second album I bought for myself. Um, rather than somebody else buying it for me. Um, a little while ago, Longfang, yeah, I did. Um, but I can always uh, tell folks again. <laughs> eh, no wrong with that, Duke. I mean, these guys are kind of like Necrons more than they are elves, in my opinion. Well, um, in fact, uh, Session Zero described them as uh, natrons, as in they are natural necrons, or nature necrons. Um, okay. That should be alright. Uh, yeah, so... Seeing as it's been brought up again, and I am building a tree dude right now, uh, this fascination with um, the Sylvaneth started because of my Soulbound character. So for those of you that didn't already know, I am in a um, Soulbound Age of Sigmar uh, pen and paper RP campaign, uh, which is being DM'd by Shanus and uh, my fellow players are Longfang, who is playing a Stormcast. Uh, Snipe, who is playing the most abrasive bright mage ever. And um, Wib, who is playing... I can never remember what they're actually called. I just want to call him a balloon dwarf. Um, Longfang help. <laughs> um, 
and I'm playing a Colonel Thunter, which is good old Pavi. Yeah, I know, right? I love her. She's fab. Sky Dwarves, yeah, Sky Dwarves. Caratron, thank you, Tempest. How you doing? Hey, Ivan, how you doing? <coughs> um, yeah, so I'm I'm playing a Colonel Thunter called Aethlandir Thicket Shield. Um, he is very stoic, very deadpan. Um, whoever put this in, good fucking choice. Um, and um, he has a little friend who lives in his hair. Um, it's a little yellow cardinal. Thank you, Tidus. Um, called uh, Toriyama as a little in joke for uh, anyone that has ever seen uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. <laughs> um, but we just call him Tori. Uh, and uh, because I didn't. <laughs> Uh, because I didn't, um, really know anything about Age of Sigmar when I was invited to play, and I just randomly decided that I wanted to be a Sylvaneth. I panicked and spent the better part of about three hours one evening watching all of the lore videos about Sylvaneth and Colonel Hunters that I could find on YouTube. <laughs> And the more I learned, the more I loved them. And when I actually started playing uh, Aeth, as I call him, because uh, it's easier, um, I kind of fell in love with the character. I mean, there's not much there. He's... I am a very anxious RPer, Longfang. <laughs> this is how I function best. I panic research. Um, I've still got the notes somewhere. I wrote like three pages of notes as well um, on all the things that he could possibly do um, and all the things he could be, where he could come from and everything. And I mapped it all back to the rule book as well. <laughs> I kind of over prepped. Okie doke, Rocket. You enjoy your dinner. <laughs> Mood. Thank you, Buff. How are you doing today? I don't think I said hello to you yet. Um, I'm sorry to hear you're not doing so great, Ivan. I will be saying that at some point uh, during the campaign, Kian. There are plans. I think you're doing a grand job with Connick the way you are, Longfang. You don't need to stress about doing research. I overdid it. I, like, really overdid it. No kill like overkill, right? But yeah, I, I just fell in love with them as a, a species, as a, a as whatever the word is. Um, I think there's so much fun stuff you can do with them. Like one of the design choices I made with um, Aethlander's character is that he has heterochromia. Um, because for those of you that don't know stuff about plants, if you've ever heard of the Hydrangea, beautiful flower the petals of the actual flower on the on the bush change color depending on the ph of the soil that it's rooted in so we've got a hydrangea out front that started off completely white and this year it's come back and it's this really amazing combination of sort of peach uh, peachy pink and cream and it's just it's gorgeous and my mum's her started off as um a blue hydrangea and this year has come back as a purple hydrangea <laughs> which is like super fucking rare um so i really liked the idea that because he's so tall he's like 10 foot tall um that he got heterochromia from having different ph's of soil on either side of him <laughs> when he was uh, 
younger. And I just really liked that idea. So he's heterochromic. He's very cool. Um, okay, so I think we have got to this stage. He's a big cuddly murder machine. He really is, Long Fang. I think he's a really good character. You, you've done good with him. I want to make a beetle level of Herodis. Yes! That'd be a really cool buff. But yeah, so... That's my... Um, my character. Uh, one of the things that I found really cool about um, they are Longfang, you're right. That's amazing. Why did you have to give me that mental image? I'm gonna have to sit with that mental image for the rest of my life. Thanks. <laughs> well, that's something to make me chuckle when I'm feeling blue. Um, <clears throat> yeah, one, one of the things I quite like about... <laughs> about um, Sylvaneth in general is that they don't have to move their mouths. So from the research I've done, they normally communicate basically telepathically with each other. They've got a sort of hive mind set up. Um, so when they're talking to each other, they don't move their mouths. They only ever move their mouths as an affectation for other races to make them feel more comfortable when they're communicating. Um, yeah, Treeborg, I guess, Danny. Though they're not trying to, like... Silver enough everybody else. They're quite happy the way they are, for the most part. Okay. Um, okay. So we want to go to a different bit of the instructions now, because we want a different hand. I think. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe not. Excuse me a second, folks. A bit of um, instruction booklet ASMR. I'm so fucking confused. I'm going to pretend that that makes sense. Hmm. Oh, Porthos. Really? <sighs> you're lucky you're cute, mate. Oh, very puzzling. Oh, no, okay. No. Okay, so there are three sets of instructions with identical images, one for each of the different builds. And they are completely identical, I've just checked. But, the number references are different. Why? Oh, thank you very much for the treat for Porthos, Mike. There you go, buddy. Hey, cyborg. How you doing, mate? London. Oof. I think that says it all. I hope you're doing okay, though. Made a gender confused canine shadow stalker. Wicked buff. Congratulations, Tidders. Well done. Um, and yes, uh, Longfang has made a couple of references to it now. Um, Aethlandir doesn't give a shit about making the other races feel comfortable so his mouth doesn't move he just noises come out of his face area 
and he's just got this completely deadpan expression, like, you know, straight across mouth, un- unmoving eyes, unblinking eyes. He just sort of stares at you. Looking somewhere between disappointed and confused. Um, and there was a, an occasion when... Yeah, like that. Thank you, Long Fang. Uh, there was an occasion when Pavi cast a, uh, some sort of protection bubble specifically on um, Toriyama. But because Tori was with me, it kind of affected us both. And Aeth's reaction to this was to go... Because, like, what else would he do? Um, (laughs) And the only occasion when he's actually moved his mouth was um, when he got very, very angry. Uh oh. Yeah, I heard it too, puppy. It's okay. I'm here. You've got me. The thunderstorm that has been threatening to land all day has just rolled in. Porthos is fucking terrified of thunder. It was indeed, Longfang. Um. Yeah, so we'll see how long the stream goes, because if it keeps thundering, then I'll have to spend all my time cuddling Porthos. So it could be a cuddling Porthos stream, but it won't be a hobby stream anymore. Um, Give me a sec. Just, uh... I have stolen this song. It now lives in the playlist. We are indeed making an angry uh, tree parental figure today. Uh, I've just stabbed myself with the sprue. It's absolutely pissing it down over here. Really? Shit. I mean, it's been raining a lot today. We've got no rain now. Just thunder. Dark stream, dark stream. (laughs) Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I can quite happily just chat about stuff. Boost the uh, the volume a bit. Uh, Let's go 25. Is that better? Or fuck it, 30. There we go. Oh, you bastard. That's a big one. Okay. Um, Seen as we got hit by lightning last time there was a storm around here, just in case it happens again, if I disappear, the house has been hit by lightning. (laughs) Okay, uh, 23A, 23, 23, Okay, uh, no, that's the sea sprue, so, it's okay, sweetheart, I'm here, I got you. Like, there, there was a, an occasion when, um, I wasn't feeling up to hobbying at all um, most of the day and I was thinking about just like getting one of my um, one of my short horror stories off the shelf and just reading and doing like a a story time stream Um, because I've got things like The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and um, Frankenstein oh you fucker that's a bit loud i mean that's better if that's too quiet for you folks then feel free to turn it up a little bit but uh that sounds okay to me if you just need to do a hangout stream it's totally fine mm, i might do sometime 
Um, welcome back, Tidders. I'm glad to hear that you are degreased. There is a thunderstorm happening at the moment, so I don't know how much longer the stream's going to go on because Porthos is wigging out a little bit, bless him. Um, it is quite quiet, isn't it, Longfang? Um, I mean, if push comes to shove, I'll put it into um, just chatting mode and um, we'll, ju we'll just chill out and chat and I'll cuddle Porthos for a bit just so that we can get the, the time in. Because I'm actually quite enjoying just hanging out with you all. I know I've barely built anything. Um... Ooh, it's a, a long thingy. I suppose he's a big boy, isn't he? Be weird if he had small hands. You know what they say about people with little hands. Well, one in particular. Uh, nine. <laughs> Poor is not enjoying my dancing. This has reminded me though, um, who's seen the trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife? Cause, uh, <laughs> I want to see that movie. <laughs> I actually have some neat Ghostbusters facts um, as well. Courtesy of my mum. I have big excite. Yeah, me too, Kian. It looks like it'll be such a good send off. I really, really hope that I'm right. It's okay, baby. Oh, he's not shaking. We're all right. Ah, there it is. Mm -mm. Let's go from there. Give me a minute, sweetheart. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. I got you. Oh dear. Okay, now he's shaking. Um... Okay, I have a question for the mods in the room. Um, are you able to change the uh, game or whatever? The thing that I'm streaming. The tag for it. Do you have the power? Thank you very much for the uh, treats for Porthos. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Okay. Cuz, um, I'm really sorry. I did want this to be a hobby happy hour, but this is a just chatting stream now because I need both of my hands to cuddle the baby. And I hope that's okay. Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. I've got you. I've got you. It's okay. Oh, jeez. Thank you very much for the sub minis and cats. Very much appreciated. Was the Ghostbusters cartoon good? Hey, Crystal, how you doing? Um, this uh, this stream has just been um, turned into a, a just chatting stream, I'm afraid, because uh, we've got a thunderstorm rolling in at the minute, and Porthos is very, very scared right now. I liked Ghostbusters, Extreme Ghostbusters as well, Cyborg. Um, I actually quite liked the crappy cartoon as well. It was crap, but um, I liked it. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Ghostbusters Afterlife. It looks like it will be a lot of fun. Um, original Ghostbusters was a trip, Extreme was kind of rad. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Okay. 
it's okay. Oh, sweet pea. Um, yeah, it did, Longfang. I'm. Oh shit! Did you guys see that? That was the lightning. Like I saw that on my um, OBS. Then it's okay, baby. I got you. You know what you need. I just so happened to have one of the shirts I was wearing for work last week on here. And you always feel better when you've got one of my shirts on, don't you, sweetheart? Um, yeah, so who'd like some fun Ghostbusters facts? Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Always. Oh shit, you're not an editor. Okay, that explains a lot. Um, let's see if I can do it from my phone then. Shh, it's okay, sweetheart. My proudest RP moments was when my cyberpunk character was trying to figure out the combination to a keypad and failed so utterly at calculating it that she had to call tech support. Oh my god, that's brilliant, Kian. That's fucking perfect. What I'll do, Tidders, is I'll uh, I'll do it myself in the stream manager now. Thank you very much for the follow, TF2Gamer252. Um, and then I'll set all the mods up as editors after the uh, stream. Shh, it's okay. I got you. I only stopped petting you for a second. Uh... There we go. We are now officially a just chatting stream. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Topo, and thank you for the posture check to this. Here we go, baby. No, okay, he's too scared for treats, so it's just going to be scritches and kisses now. Um, but... Oh, and Dad's just got home, hasn't he? I bet he's sopping wet. So, fun Ghostbusters facts. Dan Aykroyd, who is the main um, writer for the original Ghostbusters... Um, <laughs> I'm glad you're amused, Longfang. Um, came up with the idea because his grandfather, if I'm not mistaken, could be his father, no, grandfather, was one of the UK's most renowned mediums, psychic mediums. Um, so he grew up with a fascination for the idea of ghost hunting and psychic phenomena. Um, no, actually, Dammy, I didn't. My mother, um, some of you didn't know this, um, my mother is a practicing, practicing psychic medium in her spare time. Um, and she um, often works at one of the churches uh, where Dan Aykroyd's grandfather um, actually uh, did a lot of um, mediumship. So they've actually got a poster from one of their um, one of their psychic nights with Dan Aykroyd's grandfather's name on it, um, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so he grew up with this this love and fascination for ghost hunting, and that was where the idea for um, for Ghostbusters originally came from. And I kind of love that. 
yep, right on top of us again. Um, again, I'm going to warn everybody, if I disappear, it's because we've been hit by lightning again. <laughs> it's okay, sweetheart. I've got you. I've got you. Garth Marenghi's Dark Places on Prime now. Yes, it is. I believe that's actually where I watched it. Um, so you have lots of questions, Dammy. Please, enlighten me. Seeing as this is a just chatting stream, that's a good way to... Dan Aykroyd wrote the foreword to the most recent version of Tobin's Spirit Guide. Oh my god, that's wicked. I mean, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Oh yes, that'd be wonderful, Mr. Mouse. Yes, very good point. Thank you, Tillis. Do you want to get down, baby? No, you just want to turn around. Oh, you do want to get down. Go on then. Bye bye. Oh, he's going to go and have a look at, look for slow. He's feeling a bit blue. Bless him. Found that out the hard way. Oh, Tillis, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, to be fair, so did I. I just completely forgot about it. I kind of like. My brain auto senses the twat, you know? Does she have a proton pack? No, she does not. Um, I have a PKE meter, though. Not a real one. I have the, the prop PKE meter. I think it's downstairs. Oh, Slow's going to put his thunder shirt on by the sounds of things. He refers to ghost hunting as a family business. Yes, he does. But yeah, I, I like Dan Aykroyd. He seems like a an interesting fellow. But he'd be fun to have a conversation with. Oh, you fucker, that were loud. This is going to be interesting, folks. Um, still fucking going. Thunderstorm stream. <laughs> like, if it was a little darker, this would be great, because I'd just go and sit by the window and um, switch to Porthos's bed cam and just, like, have it pointing out the window so you could watch. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh... These are my sea monster leggings. Um, hang on. There you go. I... <laughs> Storm Chaser stream. Yes! I have had them for a few years. So anything which you should unplug? Well, my computer probably, Torpor. Uh, but that didn't happen. Hey, baby! Oh, have you got your shirt on? Nope. <laughs> He's just come upstairs like, look, I've got my shirt on, and now I'm, I'm going away again. Hey, baby. Thing, no, it's right, fine. Right by the front door, oh, to poor Thos. Oh, oh, okay. Um, hang on a second, folks. You may get this on camera. We'll see. Sorry, we've got serious, serious thunder and lightning in here. No, they know. They can hear it. He's quaking. Come here, baby. Hi. Trying to truss him up, and he was by the front door, and then the thunder pealed hard. Oh dear. Okay, hang on. You know what? Fuck it. What could possibly go wrong with this plan? You can watch me put Porthos's thunder shirt on. No, sort of. So he wants us to be together. Um. He came to get me. Okay, sweetheart. Ready? Which is sweet and all, lad. But I'm trying to cook. <laughs> Mind you, Gilbert. Yeah, right. There we go. Good boy. So proud of you, sweet pea. Oh, you have lost weight. That fits better now. Right, there you go. One dog shirking up. Ha! <laughs> Marvellous. Yeah, he wants to. Bother us. Do you want to come back up? No. No. He does not want to come back up. <laughs> Nicely done, Marthel. 
Ugh. Fuck. I remember when this episode came out. It was the first year I met little Karibo. God, I feel so old. I've actually got, um... <laughs> Nerd alert. Um... Downstairs, I have a complete set of Dragon Balls signed by the voice cast of Dragon Ball Z abridged <laughs> on uh, a light up Shenron stand. Because <laughs> I'm that fucking dweeb. I will take a picture of them um, and put it on Twitter later. That was um, that was a really interesting weekend. Um, so that was the year that Catherine. Yes, yes, um, I did actually. Titters. That was the year I went to um, that particular convention dressed as Catherine with a C from Catherine. <laughs> And during their panel, I put my hand up in my, in what is literally the sluttiest cosplay I've ever worn. And um, they were like, okay, what's up? And I was like, will you sign my balls? And they just had a moment um, where every single one of them, their jaws just dropped. And I went, my dragon balls. And they all went, oh, oh, okay, yes. Um <laughs> But yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. That was a really fun cosplay to wear, wear as well. Um, I put a picture of it up on uh, Twitter ages ago. My dragon balls. Yeah, exactly, Mortel. I pulled proper troll face as well. <laughs> like, because you got it, don't you? Um... That was a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Hey, baby. Do you want to come back up? Hmm. I am very tempted to just, like, adjust the setup and sit on the floor with him. Because he's, like, proper under my chair right now. And he might like that. I don't know. Hey, sweetie. Do you want this treat now? Good boy. Proud of you. You took the treat. You took the treat. Okay, let's see if I can. <laughs> the amount of camera faffing that's going on on this stream. Hot damn. he immediately lays down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I probably should have done this first. Oh well. Mm There we go. This is the kind of shit I used to pull when I was still sharing an office with Slow to get Porthos Cam working. Hi. I am now going to have to pull chat up on my phone. And yes, I know you just bought Gandalf's sword, Longfang, and I am insanely fucking jealous. Hello. Fuck's sake. Oh. 
Oh yeah, hang on. Um. Oh, it's not going to let me. I need to close the Spotify first. Oh, there it is. See if I can get that to come up even with the lights on. No, too much shine. I wanted to show you on my uh, lock screen because it's cool. There we go. There we go. Okay, where are we at? And now, now I finally have chat and it's, I think, updated. <laughs> Love the leggings, where they're from. I don't know, Brad. Slow bought them for me uh, about five years ago. Oh, long fang. Splashing out, I see. I mean, I don't blame you. That hat's fucking gorgeous. And then you get to say that you own something that Weta made, you know? And who wouldn't love that? I wonder. Eek. That's better. You can see me a bit better now. I am... So close to just laying down on the floor, though. Yeah. Saving for a Cam and Rider helmet. Awesome cyborg. I will look forward to seeing that. No, I did not, Bread, and I need to hear that. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's really cool, Longfang. I do not blame you for wanting to get, like, the real deal. <laughs> Trying to use Sir Christopher Lee's throne. Fuck yeah! Might be planning my next airsoft purchase. Oh. You folks with your exciting plans and here's me going, I want to buy 50 fucking kaiju t-shirts but I'm trying to save money. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm saving up for a trip so and there have been I don't want to talk about it too much but there have been some shall we say developments with um, my wages and I now don't know if I will be getting what I thought I was going to be getting so I'm a little bit I'm a little miffed about that. That's one of the things that's really put a downer on my day. Because um, I only found out today. Uh, and I was kind of... No pun intended, banking on what I was expecting. Um, to make things a little bit easier for the trip. And... Um, also so that my bank balance looked healthy for once. Uh, but it's fine, I'll figure it out. As I said to um, uh, Wheezy, who is a mate of mine and one of my Discord mods, um, I always land on my feet. I may shatter my ankle when I do, but I always land on my feet. <laughs> um, so it'll be okay, we'll figure it out. Hey, random, how you doing, dude? Uh, it's Fucking typical big corpo shit, innit, mate? <sighs> Pat you on the head and slap you in the face at the same time. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Did 
shaky. <laughs> expect more give less yeah um they told me i'd done a really good job and then didn't want to reward me for it is kind of the, the thing there dad borg requested this song dad borg has good taste it's been a long time since i've heard this like this is the officially weirdest stream i've ever done fucking floor stream but the boy's happy. Look at that. He's gone to sleep and everything. He just wanted me to be close to him. Didn't you, sweetheart? I didn't even have to sing for you this time. Which is good. You don't need that. I also think Supercar is a bunch of wank. That's fair. Not even a fucking car. <laughs> it looks like the storm's passed over now. Um, so I could maybe turn the stream back into a hobby stream, but I think Soft Boy down here would probably prefer it if I stayed with him for a bit. What do you think, folks? Shall I just hang out down here? I'm looking at my bookshelf and trying to figure out what I can get access to easily. Like we we could we could have a little book club or something. <laughs> Poor sauce of going nowhere. Dog stream. <coughs> chill out stream. Uh... See, this is really weird for me because like even when I don't know what I'm going to be doing on a hobby happy hour, there's enough. Uh structure there that something sort of works its, works itself out uh, and this is just like I am doing nothing I don't know what to do oh this is so weird though I am loving the uh, music that's been put in fucking gold stars folks gonna cut from Weta is 157 quid. Okay, that's not as bad as I remember it being. That's, that's, that's pretty good. I like the puppet stream. Well, I'm glad you folks do. I decided to stick with the Ghostbusters theme. I do not blame you at all, Ivan. Like, the, the soundtracks for the original Ghostbusters movies. So fucking good. For what it is, and made by the company that made the prop, it's better than I thought. Yeah, agreed. I wholeheartedly agreed there. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm just gonna rescue the treat jar. <laughs> okay, baby. Oh, soft boy. Bust it makes me feel good. Fuck yeah, mud hell. I'm not getting my hopes up for the new guys versus filming. That's fair, random. I'm cautiously optimistic. Like, if it turns out to be crap, I will be sad. I'm not gonna lie. But I am willing to give it a chance. I mean, I was willing to give the reboot a chance. And I, I've got to admit, I wasn't particularly impressed with it. But, you know, it's a thing that happened and that's okay. I didn't give the 2016 a chance. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, sometimes it's a case of, um, and Slow will agree with you here, Longfang. Um, it's a case of uh, paying a little bit more for better quality. And if you can save up for it, then by all means fucking do it, you know? Like, if you're willing to do that, if you're willing to wait and are able to, then you fucking should. Um, everything looks so tall from down here. <laughs> No, that one's not got treats in it, sweetie. I'm just gonna put that there. Eek. And sit cross-legged for a bit. That's fair, Titters. I can appreciate that. Like, um, we were very much like that when I was younger, um, and after my dad passed away, my mum kind of, um, went, you know what, we don't get to take any of this shit with us. And as long as we always have a roof over our heads and food in our bellies and clothes on our backs, we should experience the world and she just like she did so much so that i could actually have experiences and make really good memories with her and i'm always gonna respect that she did that and that like especially now that i'm older and i can appreciate just how much she will have sacrificed to be able to give me those experiences. Um, hang on. Fuck it. This is laying downstream now. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So, I hope you can still hear me, by the way. If you can't, uh, shout up in chat. Horizontal stream. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate a lot more all the, all the things she did to give me a good childhood in spite of the shit that went off when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, I fucking love my mum. <laughs> um, we get on really well now. Um, yeah. I mean, we did anyway. Awesome. So, this stream is now very fucking weird. Um, and I've got like half an hour left before I'm supposed to finish. So, I guess it's like half an hour of me on the floor with the dark. <laughs> Quality content. Ugh. I should really decorate my ceiling so that I can do this and actually have something to look at. Who the fuck put this in? Jesus, I feel so old listening to this. Holy heck, that is one heck of a username. Um, 2603-6000-BA078C751CC60. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> The things we do for our pets. I know, right, Minis? I love him to bits. He's such a good boy. And when I'm down, he always comes and sits on me and cuddles me. Like, I was feeling fucking horrendous last night. And he was sat on the end of the couch and I was sat in the middle. And as soon as I got my blanket on top of me and just sort of settled, he stood up, spun in a little circle on the couch, and came right up to me, and then just sat next to me and put his paw on my leg. Like, it's okay, I'm here. 
and then he just stayed there. You're such a good boy, aren't you, sweetheart? Yeah, you are. You're a very good boy. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like a bot, but uh, you know what? They followed me. I'm going to say thank you anyway. Oh, uh, this song, Titters, I have very specific memories of this being played on TV when I was a kid. Uh, well, a parody of it. There was a TV show called Dig It, and they used this track <laughs> as the basis for um, all the shit that they did. That must have been when I was like 10. Anybody else remember that, or am I having one of those fucking Mandela moments right now? Large space in. I would fucking love to do that mod hell. Like, what I'd really like to do, and I wanted to do this, um, I wanted to do this in the bedroom and Slow said no. Uh, <laughs> I want to paint one of my ceilings as an accurate star map with um, glow-in-the-dark stars or put a fascia over it and have LEDs um, to make out the sort of main constellations so like Ursa Major, um, fucking Orion and just have those as actual like light up bits and then have all the other stars just around it and have a proper night sky scene that's accurate I'd fucking love that It'd be so cool um probably expensive too but you know i'm really bad at keeping up with chat now i'm on the floor so i'm sorry about that it was the Disney Saturday morning block on TV. Thank you, Cyborg. Yes, that's right, because that's when I used to watch Darkwing Duck. <laughs> oh. God, those were the days. <sighs> Hi there, welcome to the Nostalgia Hour. You've not heard Darkwing Duck in uh, a long time. Really? <laughs> Crops up on these streams all the fucking time. Because I'm a massive DW fan. Because when there's trouble, you call DW. Yeah, I know I could get a projector that would do it, Mod Hell, but... Then the dog would sit in front of it and block the view, <laughs> you know? Because that's exactly the kind of thing he'd do. You know what? I've just realised I've got a fucking cushion that I use as back support that I could be using right now. Oh my god, that's better. There we go. Now I'm comfortable. So, how are we all doing, chat? <laughs> In this most bizarre of um, Wednesday night streams. Did somebody say DW? Yes, they fucking did. DMAC. Yes, they did. Also, um, oh shit, Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck is wicked. If anybody who is a big fan of DuckTales um, and Darkwing Duck and Gizmo Duck hasn't seen the new DuckTales yet, I highly recommend it. It's so good. Um, very, very well written, really well voice acted. Um, and it's got so much new stuff for people that have never seen DuckTales or Darkwing Duck or anything before but so much for the fans of the old stuff as well. So many little nods. Like the fucking three caballeros show up. 
<laughs> I love the three caballeros. That that film is of its time, but the characters are fucking rad. <laughs> and the fact that they did a TV show about the three caballeros and they made it like this um, fucking fantasy hijinks thing. So good. That's another really good show, which doesn't get anywhere near enough airtime. Highly recommend that too. Maybe not the movie that it came from though. <laughs> Cause, oh boy. Okay, let's uh, let, let's check on chat. Idea of Saturday morning. Oh Jesus! Oh, I don't have access to my stream deck, so when weird shit happens, um, I'm gonna be entirely reliant on my mods right now. Uh, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I'm guessing Cyborg put that in. Uh, the idea of Saturday morning cartoons confuses the hell out of me. As a Zoomer, when I was growing up, I had a range of channels specifically playing different cartoons 24-7. Ah, yeah, you see, we didn't have access to cable when I was a kid. That, were, that was a rich person thing. Um, and it's part of the reason I um, still have issues with the idea of satellite TV now as an adult just like why would i pay for all these channels to watch reruns of things that i've seen before on terrestrial tv or that i can watch on netflix um no if it's on plus i could uh darkwing duck is on disney plus which makes me very happy. Gargoyles, also on Disney+. Plus. Now, there was a favourite of mine when I was a kid. Oh, boy, did that have an impact on me growing up. Phew. Glad I got my gun fixed, depressed at thinking back to my horrific childhood. Fair enough, titters. And I'm sorry about that. Uh... And yes, yes, it does add context. Context is key, after all. Uh, what movie were we hoo-boying at? The Three Caballeros, Brad. Uh, 19... I want to say 56-ish. Uh, Disney live-action animation Cross. Um, which was kind of a documentary about Latin America. And I think that gives you enough information to know why I was hoo-boying at it. Uh... Okay. Um, you were close to actually getting a command there though, Longfang, um, because I finally, finally put the sound command in for the last commission you did for me. Um, yeah, I'm really far behind chat. Sorry about that, folks. I haven't had a TV license in over five years and I'm never looking back. Yeah, DMAC, I do not blame you. I had one last year because um, mum wanted to watch something with me and because we were in quarantine, I couldn't go to hers to watch it. So I got a TV license specifically because they were, um, they were watching me uh, and I wanted to watch this thing with my mum. And then I cancelled it, because <laughs> fuck that noise. Fuck the BBC and fuck cable, yes. Ta-da! Uh, yes, um, it's kind of a parody of The Three Amigos, I guess, but uh, yeah. <sighs> the movie is iffy, the TV show that they did more recently is fucking great. <laughs> you having fun with that one, obviously. Uh, deliberately misspelt it as inaudible. Oh no, I will have to turn it up. Um, but I can't do that from down here.
Uh, which one's really irritating? Sorry, Tidders. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. E okay, hang on. Roll over. You're gonna get my butt for a second. Sorry about that. Ooh, stood up a little fast. <laughs> okay, I will um, fix the misspelling in Fuckboy then, because it was, like I say, done deliberately, but... As a... Don't tase me, bro. Okay, uh, try now. Better? Beautiful. Right, back to the ground I go. Pressed against my glass, mate. Hi again. So Now we're all sorted. <laughs> oh, I really like Ghostbusters too. I know some people don't, but I really like it. And the dancing toaster scene is a work of fucking art, in my opinion. <laughs> that long fang is because you have good taste um also at any given opportunity i will say to someone yes vigo um you can get that painting you can actually buy that painting like a replica of it so tempted <laughs> Stick it in the bathroom. <laughs> or at the top of the stairs. Just somewhere really unsettling. You know? I bet you fucking would, DMAC. <sighs> this is so weird. So crazy. I hope you all are having a good time. I'm still feeling really weird about this. I have never done a just chatting stream before, can you tell? Just don't fall asleep. Not likely. Um, there is no padding underneath this carpet and it's a really thin carpet so it's just like it's basically tissue paper between me and the fucking floorboards. <laughs> I ain't sleeping here. If I do, I won't get back up again. <clears throat> Your co-host is sleepy. I know, look at the sweet baby. That's when it gets awkward. Well, um, DMAC found, um, like a couple of weeks ago and sent to me, um, one streamer who's been live for like days on end and they just sort of 
they play games and then they go and have a nap and they just keep streaming while they're asleep and you've got a full view of their room and I'm just like I could not do that I could not cope with the idea of people watching me sleep <laughs> I mean un unless I had invited them to do so <laughs> you know um, no I couldn't do it could not do it fucking streaming chan I know right um, oh god streaming chan <laughs> Logan is snoring like a motherfucker beside me. Oh, Logan is such a sweetie. He's so cute. Like, I wish to pet him. He's so adorable. I mean, I, I say that about every dog I see. Uh, of course, mine is the best. Good boy. Sweet baby. But yes. All dogs are good dogs. All dogs deserve pets. Um, this is Twitch category for it. I'm only sleeping. Fucking really, DMAC. I did not realise that. That's... Yeah, exactly, Longfang. It's just... The... No, I, I couldn't do that. I mean... <sighs> Tempting fate terribly here, but I have been blissfully creeper free for most of my life um and even when there have been creepers they have been the really mild end of the scale thankfully and haven't stuck around for very long um but yeah no i wouldn't want to tempt fate you know uh -uh. Hey, want to see me sleep? No, I would not do it like that. That's weird. But I mean, like... Slow's probably seen me sleeping, but we live together. We're a couple. It, it, it makes sense that... He, he's, kind, he's kind of got, for want of a better description, uh, a free pass to see me asleep. That's <laughs> so weird. Um, but you know what I mean. Yeah, very much so, Long Fang. 32 years since Ghostbusters 2 was 89. Fucking hell, really? Damn. Long Fang can see me asleep too many times. Oh, but that's because you guys are, are close. You're good friends. You 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 trust each other. That that's the thing. I I only want people that I really trust to see me asleep, and I don't want them to see me asleep. But if they do, I don't mind. That's better. I don't mind if people I really trust see me asleep. There we go. But yeah, no, would not want to just like do a I'm sleeping stream. But that's just me. <laughs> people sleep i mean sometimes usually it's stupid hours but yeah sometimes oh really dmac my my hey Af. yeah we had a, a really big thunderstorm roll in and porthos was really really scared so um it went from being a hobby stream to being a uh cuddling Porthos stream and then he got down and laid on the floor and wanted me to sit with him so uh, now we're here uh, and it's a, a just chatting stream in which I am rambling the fuck on about any old other thing and Porthos is sleeping next to me calmly uh, bit weird <laughs> but uh, ah well <laughs> seriously I, I, I hope I hope folks are having a good time with this very odd stream. Uh, five minutes left, it's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. Thankfully. How the fuck have I filled half an hour with this bullshit? <laughs> How are you still here? <laughs> Uh, 
No, I was not, Mortale. And yep, fucking Grain Chill. <sighs> Anyone in chat that recognises this? You're old now. Just like me. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Monel. <laughs> so, we've got four minutes left, folks. What shall we do with the last four minutes? Nothing creepy. If you make any creepy suggestions, I'll set Long Fang on you. Talk about Biker Grove. Oh my god, fucking Biker Grove. Oh. I used to love Biker Grove. Fight Club? Uh, we're not allowed to talk about it. Sorry. First rule, isn't it? Children's Watch. Christ, yeah. Oh. This really is the, the nostalgia floor, isn't it? Hello, welcome to the nostalgia floor. Grain Chill round, round the Twist was my fucking jam as a kid. Like, I still know the theme tune and everything. Loved Round the Twist. Part of my Saturday morning self-taught English curriculum. Good taste, Mod Hell. Love it. Where Ant and Deck got started, yeah, it was. Geordies forgot the term. <laughs> nice one, Tidus. Raggy dolls, yeah. Fucking hell. Worst witch, yes. They redid that a few years back, and it was all right, but like old school. Old school's better. <laughs> Fucking love you lot, you rad. And of course, of course, we've not mentioned it yet. I know it's been mentioned on other streams in the past. Demon Headmaster. Legit a classic. Loved that show. <laughs> Queen's Nose, yeah. That was epic as well. So much good shit on TV when I were a kid. I mean, there's good shit on TV now, I believe. Um, Ghost Rider! Oh my god, you used to watch Ghost Rider! I thought I was the only person in the world that fucking knew about that. I had the books. There was one of them that had a cipher in the back of it. But when you translated it, it said, watch out, the postman's a spy. And I always remember that. I don't know why I always remember that, but yeah. <laughs> oh. Fucking loved Ghost Rider. Bernard's Watch. Yes. Hey, Wombat, how you doing, mate? There was a musical for The Worst Witch. Did not know that. Wicked. Tracy Beaker. Yes, Tracy Beaker was brilliant. Goosebumps, yeah. Fucking rent a ghost. Oh, you lot. <gasps> yes, Are You Afraid of the Dark was so good. They did a Phantom of the Opera episode called The Phantom of the Auditorium. It's the one I remember the most. Really good. Recess! Yes! Oh. Okay. Another nerd alert before we finish up, because I know it's eight o'clock. Um, when I um, had AOL back when I was young, my username was TJ Detweiler. <laughs> TJ is so fucking cool. I wanted to be that cool. Okie dokie titters. Um, I will get off the fucking floor and um, like raid you. 
Sooty and Sweep, fuck yes. Fuck yes. Did anybody else ever watch Bug Alert? Bug Alert was such a good show and is one of the two shows that started my love for insects. <laughs> um, Jason the Wheel Warriors mod hell. Fucking awesome. There was Jason the Wheel Warriors and there was Ulysses 31 and I fucking love them both. And I know the theme tunes to both of them. Off by heart. <laughs> you call DW. Darkwing Duck. Rosie and Jim, yeah. Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids was amazing. Um, and was voiced by Nigel Planer. You are welcome to Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. So good. I... Okay, I need. I... Bill and Ben was a curse, Joe. Yeah, it fucking was. I, I, I need to get off the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got the entire series mod hail on DVD downstairs. I managed to find the DVD box set. Um. Okay, going live now. Okay, Tidders, I'm getting off the floor. I promise. Brum! Fuck yes! <laughs> oh. Okay. I think I'm going to have to continue this conversation next week on stream. Um, but whilst I'm, you know, doing mini stuff, because, oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, hair job socks. Longfang, the one with the old lady, the dog on the plane, was come outside. The dog was called Pippin. Okay, I'm just gonna like put myself back where I'm supposed to be and then we'll do the ending properly. Right, this is about as close to um, proper as I'm going to get, so it will do. Oh. Thank you so much, everybody, for turning what could have been an absolute fucking shit show of a second half of this stream because of the thunderstorm into something that was absolutely amazing so much fun for me i hope it was fun for you all as well um i will be back on friday with more transistor and then on saturday evening with hollow knight and sunday with more later alligator um we are gonna raid the tids um yeah thank you so much for that nostalgia trip it's been so much fun um this has been rad and i guess i'll probably end up talking to a few of you like on twitter and shit about some of these shows because damn damn anyway um i hope You'll all come back after this very bizarre stream at some point. Um, and until you do, I want you all to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking hands. And embrace the nostalgia nerd inside of you. Have some fun with it. Go watch a TV show that you love. Bye, everybody.